code signal. RK, delete digit. Hello and red, my name is Joshua and I'll be solving delete digit by code signal. Alright, so you're given some integer. Find the maximum number you can obtain by deleting exactly one digit of the given number. Alright, so for example, you have 152. If you delete the 1, you'll get the maximum number 52. If you delete any other number, it will be lower than 52. Now, you're given 1001. If you delete any digit, it's going to be, if you delete zero, any of these zeros, it's going to be 101. So, with that in mind, how are we going to solve this? Alright, first we want to create the max value and initialize it to zero. And when we're done with the operations inside, it will return the maximum value. Now, let's see what we can do here. So, I would say we have to iterate through the whole digit. Some people would use a string and then use that. Um, use the pattern just to say like okay now when you iterate the string from left to right if the previous um, value right here is smaller than its next digit then remove it um, and that will create the maximum um, value I think there is a way to do it without using strings so I would show you right now for int digit equals just stay with me here equals one and digit it has to be less than n which is the value itself but this digit is going to be times equals by 10. Now you might be wondering why I'm be doing this. Now the reason why I'm doing this is because we're going to calculate the maximum value as we remove each of these digits but how? Now here hold for a second I want to create this max and then I want to show you there will be a special algorithm we'll use to calculate um, the missing digit inside that um, the digit. So let's just show you. Let me show you right here, for example. Okay, so let's just say we have, let's just take that example, 152. How can we remove one of these digits? Well, one way is that you can, if you want to get, just say, the 15 and not the 2, you can just divide it by 10, right? All right, so that's how you get the 15. Um, and then we just said we don't want anything else from the other end so it's going to be plus digit modulus 1 and when you do digit modulus 1 I think that will be about 0 so it's really just going to be at the end 15 now if it were some other value let's just keep going around if we want to get to 12 we want to check it with 12 it's going to be digits divided by 100 plus digit modulus 10. Um, oh yes, I'm sorry, I forgot about this one. We're going to do this by 10 times, uh, let's see, yeah, I think divided by 10 would be okay. If we divide by 100, we'll get 1, but we have to multiply this by 10. Here we multiply this by 1, we'll just leave this alone. I want to make sure this is all aligned so you can see the pattern, guys. Here, it's going to make it much more easier to understand. All right, now you see this. Now it's going to be digit divided by 100, so it's going to get us that one value. Divided by 10, it's going to get us 10. Because when we remove the digits, we're actually like lowering it in significant figures by one about. And we have plus digit modulus of 10. Um, that's going to get us the leftovers of about. Two. So when we're done calculating this one, this part is going to be one, 10, this part is going to be 2, so this one's going to get 12. Now you can see here, there's a change in the number of significant figures um, with this part of formula. Just pay attention to the pattern. Let's see if we can do another one. A digit divided by huh, 1,000. Then times 100. That's going to be about zero if I know this correctly. But I'll add the digit of modulus of 100. If I do that one, it's going to be 52. Now you can see the pattern right here, guys. As this grows, then it's this one is just one significant figure behind. But this is this as we do the modulus this side. Um, it grows by one digit as well, but that's because this sort of formula at the pattern you can see here It's going to remove each digit as we iterate through 
Um, and now it, this is going to be, and now you can see why I uh, limited by less than n, so that we won't keep going on and on and on and try to calculate digits that are just way beyond what it can actually be. So, uh, I mean, what how big the actual value is. So here, I want to apply the same principle. I'm going to do, <clears throat> let's just say n divided by 10 um, times digit will be plus n. I think I should have renamed the, <laughs> these values differently. This digit actually represents um, its relationship is going to be stressed in this part of the formula, not to this part. So I should emphasize that part. As a matter of fact, let me just make it much more easier. Hold for a second. Okay, there you go. That should be easier to understand what's going on. And modulus of, let's just say num. Ah, okay, divided by, I think num will be appropriate. And then times num right here. So you can see right here, this is the pattern. It's going to be divided by 10, divided by num. This part is going to be governing this part of the pattern. Um, and multiplied by num, this is going to be governing this part of the pattern right here. And this part, and modulus of num, it's going to govern this part of the relationship right here. Now let's see if this is correct. Awesome. Submit. That is awesome. Alright guys, I hope you like my content. Please like and subscribe. And if you do, I want to delete a digit from your life expectancy that is from the magical clocks in your body. If you do that, you guys will be that young. So, um, yeah, so, you know, I'm going to input this formula into my code um, age young machine. And, you know, if you like and subscribe, automatically it deducts a digit. The lowest digit i believe from your age and you're gonna be that young just kidding you guys take care of good night